Okay. A little bit of a controversial video coming up for you. Um, so I just asked you guys on Twitter what I should talk about because I'll be real, my inspiration well has run completely dry. I'm so drained and so exhausted from traveling, touring, etc. My body's still catching up and my brain cannot think of good things. So I asked you guys on Twitter what I should make and so many of you, I mean so, so many of you asked me to make a video on veganism. Um, and I'm actually going to make a video about why I don't talk about it, why I don't talk about my diet. There are so, so many YouTubers who make their diet like part of their aesthetic and it's, it's, it's quite bizarre to me. It feels like it's less about spreading a good message and more about looking cool, um, which sucks, okay? Fuck off, Dan. Um, so, I don't talk about my diet not because I'm not vegan or not because, you know, I'm trying to be different, but for one simple reason, and that is I found out the hard way a couple of years ago, back in, no, it was last year, last summer, I found out the hard way that being vegan, it's very difficult, no, it's very easy to be a bad vegan. It's very easy to do things the wrong way and become very unhealthy and very malnourished. I was extremely malnourished last summer um, being uh, vegan for the first time. I was, my skin went gray. Ask my family, ask Luke. My skin just had no color to it. Um, I, my chronic fatigue was at its worst. I was shattered all day, every day. And the reason was because I was, uh, I was under the impression that, oh, well, I'm vegan now. I just have to avoid milk and eggs and meat and I'll be fine. Which meant that I was eating, you know, vegan macaroni cheese and, you know, just randomly stirring in little bits of the vegan corn stuff you can get with some spinach maybe or something. I wasn't getting any of the nutrients I needed. I wasn't getting any of the vitamins I needed. Um, for some reason, I also wasn't very well hydrated at all. I never used to drink much water. Even now I've kind of slipped up a bit, but um, basically I wasn't eating the right stuff and I became very, very, very unhealthy. However, I was under the impression from other YouTubers and also people in my life who were vegan that all I had to do was just stop eating meat and stop eating dairy and I was vegan and that was it. The planet is saved. Um, it made me unhealthy and the way I see it, if I preach about being vegan, if I preach about, you know, oh, just, just cut out all the bad things, um, my worry is that there will be people who do it wrong, like I did, and my audience is a lot younger than I was, you know, I mean, I was 23 when I first uh, decided to become vegan, I've been, I'll be real about it, I've been on and off plant-based diet, I haven't, you know, I've been plant-based on and off for the last, like, year of my life, and um, I, I, I don't want younger people it's not that I don't want young people to go vegan, not at all. Uh, I think, you know, the world would be a much better and healthier place if we all went vegan, okay? Uh, the Great Barrier Reef would start recovering maybe. Uh, the ice caps would slowly get better because uh, all of the gases um, in the atmosphere, like most of them are being caused by us like killing cows and stuff. Look, I'm not here to preach because that's, that's my whole point. I don't preach. I'm just worried that a young girl, I mean, I have a sister who's nine, I'm worried that a young girl will watch my video and go, I'm just not gonna eat this stuff anymore. They'll sit there and what? they'll just eat ready salted crisps all day, become extremely malnourished, do it wrong like I did. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't have any reason or right to give advice on nutrition or, you know, my what I eat every day, because I might still be doing things wrong. You know, I probably am. Um, I'm probably, if I had a blood test done, I would probably still be lacking in a lot of things. You know, it's, it's difficult. Unless you have a nutritionist on board, it can be very, very difficult. Unless you dedicate, like, so many hours into researching exactly what your body needs, which I do not have the time for. Like, I just don't. Simple as that. Don't need to defend it. Don't need to justify it. Um, it can be very, very, very easy to do things wrong. I am not going to be held responsible for that. Um, if you wish to become vegan, um, or at least plant-based, there is a difference, by the way, vegan is someone that also doesn't wear like animal 
you know, animal products or, you know, uses cruelty-free makeup and all that stuff. Just, you know, plant-based is simply the diet. If you want to become plant-based, then do your own research or listen to someone else who will have a lot more knowledge than me because I, I don't. I'm sorry if I sound very aggressive in this video. It's just that I, I get a lot of people asking me and I feel this intense pressure to, to, you know, give out this good message of this is exactly what you need to eat here, there, you know, whatever, like at this time, at this time, this time, I can't because I'm not good at it, okay? Um, and I don't want to give a bad message to young people, you know, not saying that being vegan is a bad message, it's not, obviously, done correctly, it's the best thing for you, if done wrong, it's one of the worst things for you, um, so simple as that, I'm not going to be the person that encourages young girls to become orthorexic or develop any kind of eating disorder from suddenly losing a lot of weight from going plant-based and liking the feeling of it, not going to do it, not going to be that person. You become plant-based on your own, in your own time, uh, make it your own decision. Don't do it because a YouTuber has told you to, okay? Do it if it feels right for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm in no position to tell you, you know, this is better for you or I'm better than you because I do this, you know, and I you know, I'm going to swear, I fucking hate it when people do that, um, you know, obviously, like, I've had people in my life who are very vocal about their diets, you know, I think, I think being around them a lot kind of does make you a little bit annoyed at people that constantly go on about it, just, I'm not, not doing it to kids, no, nope. I'm not, I'm not going to lead any young person down that path, you discover things your own way. You do your own research. Don't become plant-based because I did it and because it's cool, okay? Do it because you care about the environment and because you care about animals and because you really, really care about your health enough to do enough research on what your body will need when you suddenly cut out um, meat and dairy and stuff. Um, because here's the thing really, really quick. I will say this. Um, when you eat meat, you will get almost all of the vitamins and uh, proteins, all the amino acids that your body needs. This is simply because um, the farming industry will put these nutrients in the soil for the animals to eat. So the animals grow big and strong and healthy. Um, so all of that is taken care of and you get it from the meat. I'm not saying that's a good thing, not saying it's a bad thing, I'm saying that's a thing that happens. But when you suddenly cut that out, you have to now start from scratch. Uh, getting a complete amino acid profile as a vegan can be very, very difficult. Um, you have to eat a lot of, because uh, you can't eat eggs as well. Eggs are a great source of like all of the amino acids, etc. Um, you have to find a way around it. You have to have like a B12, like flakes. Um, you have to eat a lot of fruit, which is fine. Fruit is great. But I'm just saying that, you know, suddenly it, it's not as easy as, oh, I've just cut out meat because you're also cutting out a lot of vital nutrients to your body. And you can get them back if you try very, very hard and you do a lot of research, you can, but it's work. You know, plant-based diet is not simply cutting out things and being nice to cows. It takes a lot of work. So if you want to do it, then do it. I, I'm completely behind you and I completely support you in doing it, but it's not up to me, someone who is not a nutritionist, to tell you how to do it, okay? So that's the last time I'm ever mentioning my diet or veganism ever, never doing it again. So I hope this video has been enough for you on that topic. But I will see you guys in a couple of days um, or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to make another video in a second. Um, until then, I shall catch you later.